This is a homemade adjuster for a bandsaw that I picked up used on Kijiji. It's very poorly made and doesn't get the job done. Despite not having a milling machine, I figured I could do a better job myself. I picked up this round stock at a scrapyard and figured I would try turning it into the piece that I needed. Because there's a lot of flex in my lathe, I've never had any success using a parting tool. I used a sawzall to cut the piece to length and then used an insert to face it off. After watching several other YouTube videos, I realized that the better way to remove this rust scale would have been to take a much greater depth of cut. Being tentative and just skimming the surface is a lot harder on the insert than actually plunging in and taking 20 thousandths. I clamp a boring bar into my chuck to avoid dropping it on the ways and to make it easier to handle. But as you can see, I was too lazy to do this while installing the four jaw. Here I have the workpiece mounted in the chuck after turning it to size and facing it. I removed about 10 thousandths per pass and the end result was this. The top and the bottom of the workpiece are now cut to size and I have to mount the workpiece in the chuck sideways to cut the sides. Here I have the workpiece mounted in the chuck sideways. I did not insert footage of this entire process or of the other side as this is a very tedious process. I removed about 300 thousandths from each side and removed 10 thousandths per pass. did not have a milling machine at this time, and so I mounted a boring bar in my four jaw chuck and used it to do the milling work. I attached a drill press vise directly to my cross slide to hold the workpiece. I was quite tentative at first, but found that I could remove between 10 and 20 thousandths in a single pass without any issue. The groove shown at the end of this flip is what guides the adjuster, keeping it in a straight line while tensioning the bandsaw blade. These next few flips are removing material to get the overall shape of the part. To get a square shoulder, I had to mount the part in the vise sideways and machine it as shown here. This was the final shape of the part. After this, I drilled and tapped a hole for the tension adjuster and drilled two holes for the blade alignment adjusters. This project took several hours and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you use your lathe in this way. Cutting interrupted cuts like this causes a lot of impact on the lathe and is quite hard on equipment. Using a milling attachment and an end mill would greatly reduce the wear and tear on the lathe.
It's about a year later. I've been using this machine trouble free now and I've made several cuts with it. I ended up adding an extra bolt to the back of the adjuster. So these two bolts are for tensioning the uh, blade alignment and this is the actual adjuster for the blade alignment. This bolt here is for the blade tension. If you look through there you can see where I threaded it into the back of the block. So this piece is the part that I actually made in my lathe. I've used it to cut up a lot of scrap metal. Um, as you can see, if you look through some of my uh, other videos, you'll probably see it in use. Also, shortly after making that part, I purchased this used mill. I have some videos that have that in it. And this is the lathe that I used to make the piece. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that I was not able to use a parting tool because of too much flex. In an upcoming video, I will show how I modified this lathe so that it works much better. So uh, keep an eye open for that.